Hi everybody, thanks for checking out my infrared sauna vlog. Dude, this is where I, uh, this is where I come and I talk about spiritual topics and uh, meditate and detox and uh, all the great things in the infrared sauna. But I also record these vlogs because I, <laughs> the, the energy is really intense. I'm just going to tell everybody, okay, the energy is intense. If everybody out there, I mean, I know a lot of people because of my clients and people are feeling the intensity. If you study astrology, <laughs> it's been off the chain for a really long time. Like, okay, trials, tribulations, lessons, okay? <sighs> and so this is where I talk about the stuff that I deal with and so that I can keep myself on track and really stay in a positive high vibrational state to manifest and to make a difference on the planet. But I'll <laughs> just today, today I want to talk about, um, pain, dealing with pain. Okay. Because that's what I've been dealing with. I, I broke my wrist like, uh, six weeks ago and I had surgery five weeks ago. So huge dealing with pain, but it was very short lived and I took the medicine and I dealt with it. And now the medicine was hardcore narcotics and it took me in the four days that I took it down into the depths of despair. Literally, I felt like I was drowning. And so, um, I, I'm, I've recovered for it. I stopped taking them. I feel a million times better. This is basically healing really, 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 really well. Yay. But I tried to get back into the groove of things and start working out again and get my life back together after a serious injury. And I basically blew my hip out. Well, not blew it out, but like <sighs> runners apparently build their quads and they build their glutes, but they don't build their lateral muscles. And so when you push yourself really hard, like I did stupidly, um, you can blow out your hips. So it's very painful. And... Once again, I'm faced with, well, do I take the narcs? Do I take the narcotics, you know? And sometimes when you're dealing with, like, overwhelming pain that's nonstop, you can literally lose your mind. But these narcotics, man, they don't help. Well, at least for me. And I know how addictive they are, and I know how people can get hooked on them, but literally... I f first of all, my pain didn't go away over the night. It's the fourth night that I haven't slept, okay? Ah! <laughs> That's like, ooh, ooh, what's going on? You know, you kind of start losing your mind at that point. And I took the narcs last night because I finally went to the doctor. And um, I have a full-on hangover today. It did not help my sleep. It did not help my um, pain level, even, really. And so... There are other methods, and that's what I'm telling you. So dealing with pain, um, you really have to assess your level of pain and try to understand, you know, if you really need to go to the to the way of the pharmaceutical dark side, <laughs> because literally narcotics will take you down into the lowest vibration possible. And you know what? You can become I know you can become possessed by dark entities when you go that low vibration. That's what happens to people that get hooked on dope. Anyway, alternatives. OK, because I've had to deal with this breathing. Huge, 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 <sighs> slow, long breaths while envisioning the pain diminishing and flying out of your body and your body healing. Even a minute or even 30 seconds or 15 seconds of that can really take you off that pain edge where you're like <sighs> focusing on something else, right? Keeping busy, keeping your mind away from the pain and on other things. That's huge, huge. And I found that if I just got busy, it diminished and coupled with breathing, diminished. Thank God. Finding a comfortable physical position, if it's a physical, you know, something that you can do, try to become comfortable in your physicality while you're dealing with healing. Obviously, obviously do some healing, you know, which Reiki or whatever other energetic um, modalities, even your own to f try to heal your injury or whatever it is you're suffering from your sickness or whatever. Um, and then finally for me, 
CBD and THC really helped take the edge off the pain significantly without me feeling like completely hungover and like ugh. The, 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 the hangover from narcotics is dark. Okay, so that's my message for today. Dealing with pain, overcoming, you know, with your mind, the pain, and, and we did it in childbirth. I learned all about it in childbirth, my God. But the pain I've been dealing with is like on the level because it's consistent. Too much, man. Things should get lighter as we come into the weekend, energetically, astrologically. <sighs> Breathe. That's the first thing. Breathe. And thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope I'm imparting some wisdom. I know that I remember these things when I go back and look at them. And so it's like, okay, yeah, I got to breathe. I got to do all these things and it'll be better <laughs> and it'll be better. And I have my sauna and thank God, goddess, universe, everything. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. I want to be of service. I would love to get your questions. I'll talk about whatever. And please book a reading. Um, having reading deals and da-da-da. Anyway, thanks so much. And <gasps>